what's poppin' Jin Pop here, can I say with the aftermath? So this is a game about something absolutely horrible happening in the world. Everyone dies, and I'm sort of the guy who's at the gatekeeper of heaven and hell not to decide who gets in and who gets out. Or more like who gets in because nobody comes out. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys are familiar with the game Papers, Please, this is sort of the similar concept. I stamp it if they go to heaven or hell, and I get to judge every individual. Ooh, judgment, I like that. I get to send them to heaven or hell depending on their merits. So let's go ahead and get started. A cataclysmic event has caused the death of every living being on earth. The judgment day has come with its load of paperwork. People must go to heaven or hell. You are the only judge. Oh my God, that's a lot of papers. So, controls, right click to drag, left click to zoom in and out. So that's pretty simple. So, uh, Manuel Fleming from Uganda, 74 years old. He loves baseball and traveling. Uh, failed saving a child before a truck and their family was really poor. All right, all right, let, 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 let's, uh, let's break this one down. So, an old man who, who was just sort of minding his own business. He liked baseball a lot, which that's a pretty good trait. And then traveling. He failed to save a living, he failed saving a child before a truck, which I feel like that's not really his fault. It implies that he tried. He tried to do some good in the world, but he failed. So you know what? I'm going to say, bro, passage is all yours. Welcome to heaven. All right, next one. Makoto Disintio from Kazakhstan. This doesn't sound like a Kazakh last name, but whatever. All right, 35. He likes swimming and poker. Um... Never gave their bus seat to the elderly, has inherited mental disorders from the parents, and took drugs. Oh, uh, I don't know. If he inherited the mental disorders, that could explain the other two behaviors, but... Oh, uh, I don't know. Tough, 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 tough. Um, I'm gonna say... Sorry, man. Sorry, but... If you have mental illnesses, you can still work around them. Enrico Portland from Austria. He likes playing piano and rope skipping. Sort of maintain the life... To maintain the life of their trisomic child, was involved with the mafia, uses the hashtag no filter hashtag, although filters are used. I cannot forgive that. If there's filters and you tweet out hashtag no, no filters, shame on you, you're going straight to hell. Isabel Bodrock from the Netherlands, female age 22, likes baseball, regularly empties the fridge through midnight snacks, could never afford to go to vacations. Again, the no filter hashtag. And steals women's panties. What? All right, you know what? No, no. For the Instagram filter specifically, you're going to hell. For that, for that reason alone. Jean-Pierre Martins from Canada. He likes poker and traveling. A dozen failed suicide attempts. Family was really poor. Steps on a Lego piece with barefoot at least once a day. I'm. You know what? It sounds like you've had a hard life, especially with the Lego pieces, man. I can understand why you'd want to end your suffering if you step on a Lego piece barefoot at least once a day oh man you know what you've earned your passage into heaven because i don't know what hell could possibly be like but it can't be any worse than that next up julia jukowski from zimbabwe a hundred years old never gave their bus seat to the L they don't fucking have to they're a hundred years old always kills bugs well i don't like having bugs either you know what you're an old grandma i feel like you've earned the right to deny seating from, yeah. Wong Moore from Dominica. Likes baseball and swimming. Can never record a, three daughters and a son. Drinks blood for fun and steals women's panties. Can I send you to like both? <laughs> what if I, what, what happens if I stamp you with both? Oh no, it, it only takes one. All right, you're going to heaven, I guess. Because that's the one I stamped you with first. Count yourself lucky. John Erickson from Estonia. Climbing in baseball. Professional procrastinator. A dozen failed suicide attempts. I'm assuming he always meant to get around to it, but he just never really did. You know what? I'll stamp it later. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ah, see what I did there? Ah, anyways, I'll send you to heaven. Why not? Just because you're lazy doesn't mean you're a bad person. All right. Penny Zeingler from Dominica likes role-playing. Oh, shit, man. Like D&D &D and Godlike and like all those other games. Ah, I love, I love RPGs. Not, not just like, you know... Fallout and Skyrim because those are fun too, but I mean like the traditional RPGs the tabletop pen and paper RPGs That's where it's at is gaming addicted kill a cat as a professional procrastinator. You know what? I can forgive the cat. I can forgive the cat. You're a gamer. You're down in my book, man Johan Smith from Burkina Faso, which I think is somewhere in 
I have no idea. 97 years old, cooking and playing the piano were their passions. Never gave their pussy. Again, don't really need to because they're already elderly themselves. Talks during cinema movies. Overpronounces foreign words. Steps on a Lego piece with a bare foot at least once a day. All right, I can't forgive the cinema thing though. That's just, if I could stamp you multiple times because if you can't shut up during a fucking movie that I'm trying to pay attention to the plot of, you deserve this. Lost the ring two days after the wedding. Murdered his wife. Wait, female. Murdered his wife. Murdered his wife suspected of killing the child, abusing the child, and killed the cat. Look, I'm sorry, but that's kind of, that's kind of sociopathic to a point, don't you think? Maggie Liker from the Maldives. Horse riding and collecting stamps. I've never met anyone who actually enjoys collecting stamps. Is that actually a thing? I'm not trying to judge you if you like collecting stamps. It's just that it keeps getting used as an example of something nerdy or lame to do, but I never actually met anyone who legitimately collects stamps. Has been single their whole life, has two daughters and four sons. How the fuck do you have two daughters and four sons and be single your whole life? That makes no sense to me. Unless she had them all at the same time. Holy crap, sextuplets. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the benefit of the doubt. You're going to heaven, Maggie. Uh, age 56, kills bugs, hugely talkative, devoted four years to life to help children in Africa. Namibia, you live in Africa. Oh, you know what? It's still getting in love with the lo local community. I, I think that's commendable. Eric Tchaikovsky from Rwanda, playing piano writing, bicycle writing, is racist. Nope. Going to hell. If you're a racist, you're going to hell. Especially after that whole Rwanda thing. Those of you guys who don't know what I'm talking about, you might want to study history a little more closely. A dozen failed suicide attempts makes the best muffins in a neighborhood is a social activist and gets bad luck with Lego. So you know what? Just because you make best muffins, that that in itself is commendable. I don't know how to bake in the slightest. I know how to cook some decent things, but baking never really been a part of my repertoire. So anyone who knows how to bake, measure everything out, get everything done just right. Because I feel like you mess anything up one inch this way or that way with baking and you ruin the entire dish. So people who are able to do that, I commend you. Julia Applegate from the Czech Republic, who's 19, likes photography murdered his okay are we in a world where the only people that have wives are women because i have yet to see a male in this stack that is married to a woman murdered his wife who was suspected whatever uh murder sends you straight to hell unless you have other redeeming qualities like playing card games and role-playing games farts in cars is a drug addict and took drugs well, I generally assume that if you're a drug addict, you would take drugs. That sort of that sort of comes with the territory. Sort of like how if you're a gamer, you play games. Uh, I don't know. I I'm gonna give you a pass, man. I'm by the skin of your teeth, just because you like some cool stuff. Again, gamers, we got each other's backs. 79 likes basketball and Satanism, and is an anti-heterosexual. Okay, this is something that I've noticed is becoming a growing trend, especially among like Tumblr and all those extremist radicalist feminists. Don't get me wrong, I believe that there should be equal opportunity for everyone in the world, but it seems like more and more these days, feminists seem to classify themselves as, well, they seem to classify men as all being the same. If you're cisgender, if you're white, if you're heterosexual, then shame on you because you're part of the uh, oppressive system. That makes no sense at all. If if you're striving for equality, why are you trying to shame and bigot the very same people that you are trying to establish equality with? You dismantle oppressive systems by getting rid of bigotry, not perpetuating it. The moment you start judging anyone else for being cis, for being heterosexual, for being white, or any of the privileged groups, you're no better than the same people who are trying to criticize you for being different. I'm sorry, I just had to rant about that. I go on Tumblr sometimes, and there's a lot of crazy going around there, so I'm gonna go ahead and say, no, you are the reason that feminism and all that sort of stuff gets a bad rap in the first place because you take it totally the wrong way now i'm gonna get like a dozen angry comments from people who are on tumblr being like no jen you're wrong gender issues and admittedly i don't understand too much about them but it's just it's it bothers me a little bit more than it should uh sakura Tchaikovsky from gabon female stalking swimming steals women's panties was involved with the mafia adds reno jackson to all their hearthstone decks oh my god i used to play hearthstone a lot but i sort of stopped playing around the same time the uh the goblins and gnomes expansion came out so i don't know what any of the cards are now i'm assuming that reno jackson is like a super op not very fun card to play against also how are you eight years old and involved with the mafia 
It came to me on the day of my daughter's wedding, and you asked me to kill someone. That is not justice. I wonder if anyone actually gets that reference. I, I know there's going to be a lot of you who do, but I realize it's a bit of an older movie, and it might have been a timely reference that's no longer relevant to a lot of the millennial generation now. You guys got to sit down to enjoy the classics someday. By the way, I am quoting The Godfather, so... Maggie Liker. All right, last one for today. Shopping, cooking, stole money from an old lady, makes the best neighbor muffins. And you know what? Again, muffins take priority over all else. Isn't that right, muffin? Anyways, all right, off you go. 38 people done out of a world with about 7 billion people on the planet. I am the only person capable of making these judgments. I'm probably gonna be here for the rest of eternity. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it good there. I I've decided only 38 people have been accepted. The rest of you are just gonna have to wait in purgatory because, well, I'm too lazy to deal with your shit. Anyways, you guys, that was the aftermath. If you guys like this video, pop that like button, and I will see you next time.